from WBAL TV 11, this is breaking news. We are following breaking news tonight in Baltimore County where crews are on the scene of a fire. It is in Ricerstown. 11 News reporter Kim Dacey just arrived at that massive fire scene. Kim, what do you know right now? Well, we just arrived a few minutes ago, and what I can tell you is there are still flames shooting from the building and smoke billowing out the front and top. It's been burning for more than an hour now. This is the advanced auto parts store on Reisterstown Road uh, in Reisterstown. It's off the Franklin Boulevard exit of 795, so it's pretty far north. And firefighters, of course, have been on the scene since it broke out uh, battling this fire. They have moved to exterior operations only because we understand a May Day was called around 945 tonight, and they brought a firefighter out. He is being treated for non-life-threatening injuries, so that's good news. But again, they moved to an exterior operation, and you can see they have the ladder trucks just trained on this fire, and we have seen these flames move from all the way in the back of the building. Now it seems like they're moving a little more toward the front of the building. This smoke is just incredible, the black smoke that has just been billowing out. You can see it as soon as you get off the highway on Franklin Boulevard from 795. You can see it just billowing up in the air. And of course, uh, there's a lot of onlookers here, a lot of apparatus on the scene, a lot of fire officials here as they work to determine uh, how to put out this fire. But again, it still seems to be burning bright more than an hour after they were called. We are expecting an update from the public information officer from the fire department. Any minute now, we're told she's on scene and is being briefed. So of course, uh, when we get that, we will bring that to you as soon as we can. Uh, but for now, uh, we are reporting live at this huge three alarm fire in Reisterstown. I'm Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News. We wanted to go back out to that breaking news in Baltimore County where crews are still on the scene of a massive fire in Reisterstown. 11 News reporter Kim Dacey joins us now live again. And Kim, you just spoke with fire officials there at the scene. What did they tell you? Yeah, we just got some new information from the public information officer, but I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this fire. It is just incredible. It is still burning and burning bright nearly two hours after firefighters first got the call at 941 this evening for this fire that's become a three alarm fire. Again, we're at the advanced auto parts store in Reisterstown, not far off the Franklin Boulevard exit for 795. Now the fire PIO said that this started at 941. By 944, a career firefighter inside became trapped when part of a ceiling fell on him. He gave a mayday call and other firefighters were able to go in and grab him and get him out safely. So he is okay. That's the good news. Uh, but there is so much stuff in that store that is combustible. Tires, motor oil. All of that is just making this fire burn bright, and they think they are going to be here for quite a while. But again, here is the fire PIO talking about that rescue of that firefighter trapped inside. A mayday was called because one of our career firefighters uh, was um, injured or trapped in the building when a piece of ceiling fell on him. We dispatched a rapid intervention team to go in and find him. We did. He was disoriented, but he was okay. He was able to walk out under his own power. He was evaluated here by our EMS personnel and has been transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Now again, firefighters expect to be on this scene for a long time to come with all the tires and combustibles burning in there. Three alarms. They have moved to an exterior operation after that firefighter was injured uh, so that no one else gets injured. There are no other injuries reported. And again, that firefighter is expected to be okay. We will bring you the very latest information as we get it on air and online. Reporting live at Racerstown, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.